Okay everyone, today we're going to be doing Stretch Armstrong versus a giant neodymium magnet. So this magnet is extremely strong. It has a thousand pound pull force. What that means is if you get a big enough piece of metal that gets completely saturated by the magnetic field, it would take a thousand pounds of force to remove it from the magnet. So it's extremely strong. So what exactly do I mean by a thousand pound pull force? Well, it means this. I have a 1943 steel penny here, and you can see that the steel penny easily sticks to the magnet, but I can also easily pull it off. There's still a lot more metal that this magnet can saturate. So basically, I can have one penny here, and I can pull it off, and I can put another one on, and notice how it's getting harder and harder to pick up my hand now. Here's another one, oh, and another one, and another one. So basically, each little piece of metal I add on here, it's like adding on weights that weigh more than the thing itself. Ow. So you can see the more I put on, the more it presses against my hand and the more heavy it is. Oh, this hurts. Ugh. So you can see how much force this is now putting on my hand. So you see that the more metal you have, the more force you get. And so a thousand pound pull force means that at its maximum, if you have a big enough piece of metal with enough metal on it, the maximum force it would put on my hand is a thousand pounds. So I definitely wouldn't want to have my hand in between here if I put a big chunk of metal over my hand. This is just enough that I can still pull my hand away. Oh. Look at the marks it left on my hand there. <laughs> so you'll notice that I was able to pull it off, but if my hand were even thinner, it would even be harder to pull off. Like if I put this thin sheet under here, then put the pennies on, then it can pick up the full magnet. And that's because the closer you actually get to the magnet, the harder it pulls. And so, in order to remove this now, see, I can't even pull it off the back because I have got so close to the magnet with just this tiny amount of metal. So if I remove the amount, then I can start to be able to pull it off. So even just this many is enough to pick it up. Okay, now I can remove it. So now let's see what happens when Stretch Armstrong gets in between the magnet and these steel pennies. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so we, we saw what that few amount of steel pennies did to my hand. So now let's see what happens when we pour this giant pile of sharp screws, nuts, and bolts on top of Stretch Armstrong. Okay, let's lay him down on the sacrificing altar. Start dropping stuff on him. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Put on our still pennies. <laughs> oh man, this is not coming off. This looks like a torture machine or something. Okay, let's try to pull them off. Oh, nope. Oh man, it's through him. Ugh. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to pry him off the back here. Oh, there's a screw through him. Oh man, oh no. Trying to roll him off, but the screws are just going through his body. It's like he's wearing heavy chain mail now. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this off. Probably gonna have to take them off one by one. I'll save you, Stretch Armstrong. Oh no, my hammer. Oh, that's making him leak. Let's put that back in. Ugh. Plug him back up. There he comes. Oh, I got him. Oh. Oh. There he is. everyone thanks for watching another episode of the action lab i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest videos out and head over to theactionlab.com if you want to check out the action lab subscription box where you can do experiments similar to the ones that you see me do on my channel here and thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time